of the challenges that, that small businesses face online is really rising above that clutter. Uh, there are literally millions of blogs starting every year and, and so it's difficult to find a voice and to present yourself as a unique thing. Uh, also, I guess, to, just to choose the right tools, um, that can be difficult for a small business. Uh, but yeah, finding your voice is something that I see a lot of uh, bloggers and, and small businesses struggling with, particularly when it comes to blogging. Small businesses are faced with a challenge of being you know, awash in a sea of data, a sea of competitors. Um, you know, they, they absolutely have a challenge of getting their message out there when there's all this, you know, for lack of a better word, conversation and interruption marketing going on. How do they really make a name for themselves as a, as a small business and, and be relevant to their customers? Well, I think one of the biggest challenges facing small businesses online is everyone's online now. So if you did some of the basic things like search engine optimization or a little bit of um, AdWords on Google or Yahoo or MSN, um, driving people to your site, two or three years ago, even just a short time ago, there was relatively little competition. So today everyone's figuring it out or trying to figure it out. So when you put some AdWords up, there's a lot of people competing for those bids. Um, when you do search engine optimization, a lot of sites are now optimized. I would probably say the fact that you're like a needle in a haystack. I mean, like there are so many different plumbers online and there are so many different, of whatever you're selling, there's so many of them. And so being found in that mishmash of Google or Yahoo's index is just, it's crazy and it's very, very difficult. And so I think some of the things you have to do is make sure that whatever you can do to be found, whatever it is you can do to set yourself apart, you need to try to do that, whether it's SEO, you know, and make sure that you're found well, or whether it's um, making sure that you're known, like Zappos is known for being the best customer service people out there, you know. So. But I think the biggest challenge for online retailing for small businesses is figuring out what their unique proposition is when they actually enter the market. To me, it seems like a me too marketplace in some instances, and they really need to avoid that. What do I think is the biggest challenge for businesses online right now is getting above the noise visibility above the noise actually and the first thing I think it's, it's used to be EF Hutton all you have to do is whisper now I think it's all you have to do is listen if you want to get above the noise listen listen to what customers are saying and then give them what they're asking for the biggest challenge for a small retailer or medium-sized retailer or business in general is getting a signal through the noise. There's a lot of marketing going on and especially as more people come to conferences like this and get educated and get excited and read books like, you know, uh, Personality Not Included and reading all of the books that are available at that table and getting excited and educating people within the company, then there's going to be a lot more marketing messages and that's not a bad thing but it's more challenging for people who don't want to do it well and want to be remarkable. The biggest challenge to, uh, to small businesses today is staying relevant. Uh, you need to uh, be authentic and let people know who you are. Just like in the old days everybody knew the Sam Drucker at the general store. Well today you got to be relevant, you got to be known. We're at a time where anybody can make it big. It doesn't take a great amount of money it doesn't take a great amount of skill, it takes a great amount of heart. And so I, I guess that's what I would say is, if you're not willing to, to give your whole heart to your small business, don't waste your time.